Ever wondered about the untold tales of courage, resilience, and power from the heart of Africa? These are stories that echo through time, weaving a rich tapestry of culture, history, and wisdom. They are the lifeblood of African heritage, a testament to the spirit of a people who have faced trials and tribulations with unwavering strength and resolve. Today, we journey into the heart of this vibrant continent to discover two remarkable tales that have shaped its narrative. First, we'll delve into the life of the formidable Queen Nzinga Mbande, a 17th century ruler of Angola, whose resilience and leadership stood as a bulwark against Portuguese colonization. Then, we'll traverse the landscapes of Nigeria to meet a young boy named Obi, whose courage and unique talent for summoning the rain during a drought would have a profound impact on his community. Brace yourself as we delve into the rich tapestry of African storytelling. In the depths of 17th century Angola, a queen of extraordinary courage and resilience emerged. Her name was Nzinga, a beacon of hope in a time of turmoil. Born into the Mbundu royal family, Nzinga was a testament to the saying that greatness is born, not made. Even from a young age, she exhibited a sharp intellect and a fierce spirit, traits that would later define her reign. Her father, Ndambi Kilawanji, the king of the Mbundu people, recognized these qualities and nurtured them, raising her not just as a princess, but as a potential leader. Nzinga's early life was steeped in the teachings of her culture, of diplomacy and warfare. She was trained to think like a strategist, to act like a warrior, and to lead like a king. Her father's guidance was not in vain. When he passed away, the kingdom faced a crisis of succession. But Nzinga, with her well-honed leadership skills and indomitable spirit, stepped forward. She declared, I am my father's daughter, I am Bundu, I am Angola. Her ascent to the throne was not without its challenges. There were those who questioned a woman's ability to rule, who whispered doubts and sowed discord. But Nzinga, steadfast as she was, quelled their doubts. She proved herself not just a worthy queen, but a remarkable one. Her rule was characterized by her wisdom, her courage, and her unyielding resolve to protect her people. Nzinga's reign marked a new era for the Mbundu people. She was a queen who defied conventions, who shattered the glass ceiling of a male-dominated society, and who stood strong in the face of adversity. Her name echoed across the lands, instilling hope in her people and fear in her enemies. With the crown on her head, Queen Nzinga was ready to defend her kingdom. Her story was just beginning, a tale of resilience, leadership, and resistance that would forever etch her name in the annals of history. The Portuguese thought they could easily conquer her kingdom, but they were in for a surprise. The tale of Queen Nzinga is not just one of royalty and power, it's a story of unwavering resistance. The Portuguese, with their eyes set on the riches of Angola, found a formidable adversary in Nzinga. She was a queen, yes, but she was also a strategist, a warrior, and a beacon of hope for her people. When the Portuguese sought to enslave the Mbundu people, Nzinga stood firm, refusing to be another pawn in their game of colonization. Her leadership was not just about maintaining power, it was about safeguarding the dignity and freedom of her people. Queen Nzinga's resistance wasn't just through warfare, she was a master tactician, using diplomacy as a weapon just as effectively as any sword. She negotiated with the Portuguese, outwitting them at every turn, and even formed alliances with their enemies to strengthen her position. She was a queen who dared to defy the norms of her time. In a world where women were expected to be subservient, Nzinga led from the front. She trained an army of women warriors, who fought alongside their male counterparts with equal ferocity. But Nzinga's resistance went beyond the battlefield. She offered sanctuary to those fleeing slavery, creating a kingdom where the oppressed could find freedom. She understood that the true strength of a kingdom lay not in its riches, but in its people. Nzinga's reign was a constant battle against Portuguese colonization, but she never wavered. For nearly four decades, she kept the invaders at bay, preserving her kingdom's sovereignty and her people's freedom. The Portuguese might have expected an easy victory, but what they got was a relentless adversary in Queen Nzinga. Her resistance was a testament to her courage, her cunning, and her unwavering commitment to her people. Queen Nzinga left a legacy of resistance that continues to inspire to this day. From the royal courts of Angola, we now journey to a humble village in Nigeria. As we leave the fierce and resilient Queen Nzinga behind, we find ourselves in a different time and place. This is a world far removed from royal intrigues and colonial resistance. Here life is simple but no less challenging. In this humble village we meet a young boy named Obi, 
He's just like any other child in the village, playful and full of dreams. But little does he know he's destined for something extraordinary. Obi, a name which means heart in the Igbo language, is about to discover his unique gift, a gift that will transform his life and the lives of his community. As the village faces the harsh reality of a prolonged drought, the people are in desperate need of a miracle. Little did they know that miracle would come from one of their own. In the midst of a severe drought, a hero was about to rise. While the parched earth cried for water, a young boy named Obi discovered his unique gift. That gift, you may wonder, was no ordinary one. It was the ability to call upon the rains when the land was dry, the crops were wilting, and the people of his village were desperate for a drop of water. In the heart of Nigeria, a drought had gripped the land. The rivers were mere trickles, the wells were drying up, and the once lush green fields were turning into barren, cracked earth. The villagers were losing hope as day after day, the sun blazed mercilessly down, and the sky remained an unyielding, cloudless blue. Amid this despair, young Obi found himself in a peculiar situation. One day, while he was out in the fields, he felt an unusual surge of energy. He raised his hands towards the sky and to his amazement clouds began to gather. And then, it started to rain. The raindrops fell gently at first, then grew into a downpour, drenching the parched earth and bringing relief to the drought-stricken village. Obi was frightened at first, unsure of what he had done. Was it a coincidence? Or had he truly caused the rain? The fear of the unknown, the fear of this extraordinary power he seemed to possess, initially overwhelmed him. But as he saw the joy and relief on the faces of his people, he realized the importance of his newfound ability. The boy who once played in the fields was now their rainmaker, their beacon of hope in times of drought. Obi learned to accept his gift, not as a burden, but as a blessing. He understood that he had a responsibility, a duty to his people. It wasn't a path he had chosen, but it was a path he was willing to walk, for the sake of his village, his people, and the land that he loved. Obi had a gift, and he knew he had a duty to use it. The village waited with bated breath as Obi stood alone, ready to summon the rain. In the heart of Nigeria, a young boy named Obi, with an extraordinary gift, was about to change the course of his village's destiny. The dry, parched earth ached for respite. Crops withered, rivers ran low, and the once vibrant village was now a mere shadow of its former self. The drought had been ruthless, sparing no one. Obi, however, was undeterred. He was a mere lad, yet his courage was boundless. His heart pounded in his chest, not from fear, but from the sheer anticipation of what was to come. He raised his arms to the sky, his voice echoing through the barren landscape, calling out to the heavens. The villagers watched, their hearts filled with hope and trepidation. They had seen Obi's gift, his ability to communicate with the elements, but this was a challenge like no other. Could he truly summon the rain and end the drought that had plagued them for so long? The air around Obi began to shift. A faint breeze picked up carrying whispers of change. The sky, once a glaring canvas of blue, started to darken. Clouds rolled in, their silhouettes growing larger, more ominous. A hush fell over the village as everyone watched the spectacle unfold. Then, the first drop fell. A single, solitary droplet that hit the dry earth with a satisfying plop. Then another and another, until it was a symphony of droplets, a cascade of life-giving water. The rain had come, summoned by the courage of a young boy. The villagers erupted in cheers, their joyous cries reaching the heavens. Obi stood in the rain, his heart filled with joy. He had done it. He had brought the rain, his village, his home was safe once more. The drought was over and life could begin anew. The story of Obi, the rainmaker, is a testament to the strength of community and the courage to stand alone when needed. It is a story that reminds us that heroes come in all shapes and sizes, all ages and backgrounds. Obi's bravery brought life back to his village, proving that heroes come in all forms. From a queen's resistance to a boy's courage, African stories are a treasure trove of inspiration and wisdom. In the vast and diverse landscape of Africa, we've journeyed through two compelling narratives. Our first tale, the legend of Queen Nzinga, transported us into the heart of 17th century Angola. We were introduced to a formidable leader, Queen Nzinga Mbande, a woman of incredible resilience and tenacity. Her story is a testament to the power of resistance, as she bravely stood against the attempts of Portuguese colonization. Her leadership, her courage, 
and her unwavering spirit continue to inspire and resonate even today. Then, we ventured into Nigeria, where we discovered the tale of Obi, the rainmaker, a young boy with an extraordinary gift to bring rain during the harshest of droughts. His story, filled with courage and community, highlights the power of unity and the strength of human spirit. Obi's tale is a vivid reminder that every individual, regardless of age or status, can make a significant impact on their community. These stories, though set in different times and places, share common themes of courage, resilience, and the power of the human spirit. They teach us that we can resist against the odds, just like Queen Zinga, and we can bring about change, just like Obi. They remind us that our actions, no matter how small, can have a significant impact on those around us and the world at large. These narratives, along with countless others, form the rich tapestry of African storytelling. They reflect the heartbeat of the continent, pulsing with wisdom, resilience, courage, and a deep sense of community. They offer a glimpse into the vibrant cultures, the diverse peoples, and the indomitable spirit that defines Africa. As we end today's journey, remember the power of storytelling and how it brings us closer to understanding the heartbeat of Africa.